All right, John Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. And today we are going to go over this very nice looking uh, 69 Camaro you see sitting beside me here. Um, this one here is done in what's called the Inferno Orange, uh, the exterior paint. This would have been found on like a 2012 Camaro. That's So that'll give you an idea where the color came from. Uh, and then ours has the kind of the matte black stripes up over the hood and onto the rear deck lid of this car. Again, a real nice looking color combination, very sharp looking. Um, so in our car here, we're just gonna walk around um, all of the paint, all of the panels, all very nicely uh, polished, buffed, nice and straight the whole way around on the car. All of our bright work, that's gonna be your bumpers, all of your wheel trim, all of the trim around the windows, all of that stuff, all of the bright work. It is very nicely detailed, very polished up, and again, nice and straight, no dents or dings in it. Even your rocker molding along the bottom. Now, as far as our car goes, our gaps here on our doors and our elevations are dead on on this car with the fenders and the quarter panels. So that door's been adjusted in there really, really nice. Um, wheels and tires that this car is sitting on. We've got 17 inch wheels up front, 18s on the back, just to give it a little bit of difference there in the stance. These are the five spoke Riddler wheels, so they are an aluminum wheel. And then as far as the tires go, little difference in sizes there too, of course. 22550 ZR17s on the front, and then 25545 ZR18s on the back. Um, the other thing then, as we get to our doors here, the glass on everything here is very nice shape here. No chips, no cracks, obviously. It is tinted glass here in the sides. And again, you see all of your moldings here all in great shape. Mirrors, both sides, both passenger and driver's side. And your driver's side is a remote mirror. Let's go inside, take a look at this interior. Now on this particular 69 Camaro, the interior is custom on it. So your front and rear seat upholstery is going to match up all black interior it does have the orange highlights the orange stitching in it even back around on the package tray it does have a nicely stitched and pleated package tray with the speakers installed back there as far as the rest of the car though pretty normal um, you're going to see that the black carpeting is in very nice shape you're going to have the factory dash factory instrumentation you do have an aftermarket radio in there looks to be probably a custom auto sound unit in there and then you do have a few aftermarket gauges um, those are going to be uh, for oil pr uh, pressure water temperature and battery factory center console there for the automatic transmission also um, and then you've got your seat belts both front and rear so again, everything pretty complete in this car. All of your weather stripping around the doors and glass and even down your quarter window, that is all in great shape. We'll close our door. And then our uh, rain gutter moldings here, uh, drip rail moldings. They've painted those, they've color matched those to the car. The other thing I always do is I feel down through the rain gutter, make sure everything feels nice and smooth through there and that it does on this car. As we walk further back now around behind the car, of course you can see our trunk lid. It's got the trunk spoiler here. As I mentioned, we've got those matte black decals there down over the deck lid and over that rear spoiler. Rear bumper, nice chrome on it, no pitting there. Got the SS emblems there on the tail panel. Of course, you've got your guards down here, your lower balance. And then you can see the dual exhaust poking out uh, down below that rear lower balance. Now, as far as our trunk lid, you can look at your gaps the whole way around. Check the elevations there too. That is all very nice, uh, very nicely uh, adjusted up here. As far as our rear glass, again, nicely, uh, you know, no scratches, no chips in that. And your moldings there, nice and straight the whole way around. And you can probably see down in there too to that rear package tray. Now, we are going to open our trunk lid up, take a look inside. Let's do that next. Okay. So the trunk lock works, and then the underside of the trunk painted up that same inferno orange as the rest of the vehicle. Uh, the inside of the trunk, you've got this nice trunk mat in here. 
don't see any stains or anything on that so that's real nice the floor in here is good too uh, there's no patches or anything and you'll see that when we do our underside video and then they have relocated the battery to the trunk here so again that's going to give you a little more room up in the engine compartment the trunk seals and weather stripping again all in great shape and no chunks no cracks or tears or anything like that meets right in the center there it's going to seal up real nice your hinges and your trunk spring doing what they should holding that trunk lid up all on its own we'll close this and then as far as your tail lights uh, the lenses and those all in great shape no chips or cracks in any of those let's walk around now to the passenger side and again same thing over here body panels nice and uh, straight the whole way down all of your body lines are all lining up your door gaps here and elevations are all very good again again you see that uh, mirror on the passenger side glass on the passenger side here too just as nice as what it was over on the other side no chips or scratches our rain gutters here again nice and smooth you don't find any rough edges or any bumps there um, we'll go ahead and open this side up now just take a look in from this side again notice that this is all custom you know upholstery on the seats no rips or tears no fading in the carpeting uh, again all the seat belts the headliners in great shape and the dash no cracks in that either door shuts zip very easy on that side as well as we come up towards the front now again we've already gone over the wheels and tires we get up to the front you do see it's a 350 emblem up here on the front fenders SS here in the center of the grill. That grill blacked out and all intact. It's not broke or cracked anywhere. Good solid piece there. The headlights, just your traditional sealed uh, units there. So your highs and lows are all right there. Glass lenses, which are in great shape. Chrome front bumper, again, no pitting on that finish. And then down below, you see we've got the air dam down there to go along with the rear spoiler. Now, as we look up top, Again, this is a steel hood, two inch cowl induction. Your stripes go up over top of that. Your gaps and elevations on your hood are all very nice too. Uh, of course, the Camaro script emblem up front. We're gonna go ahead and open our hood up now. That way we can talk about what we have underneath here. Okay, so now that we've got the hood open, you can see again, the hood's been uh, painted on the other underside to match the rest of the vehicle everything else under the engine compartment here is blacked out just as it should be for an engine we have a 350 cubic inch small block chevy engine here of course you've got the chrome air cleaner it's a uh, it's a reusable style air cleaner here uh, and then down below you're going to have an edelbrock 1406 carburetor going to have an edelbrock performer rpm aluminum intake in there too of course you've got the black valve covers that's the black wrinkle finish on there complete with your breather pcv valve there you've got the ceramic coat long tube headman headers there to open up the exhaust a little bit nice aluminum radiator here to help keep things cool and a built aluminum uh, overflow tank for that radiator as well on this car you do have air so that's all hooked up right there all of your lines all hooked up so that is a functioning unit. We've got power steering and power brakes on this car. And those brakes are disc on the front, drums on the rear of the car. And then again, in combination with our aluminum radiator, we do have a dual electric fan. So that is the uh, motor. Now to finish off our drive line, we do have behind us a 700R4 automatic overdrive transmission. That's gonna be very nice for you guys that wanna take this out and cruise or if you want a little performance out of it too you're going to be able to get that because in the rear again this is a 10 volt rear 82 ring gear it does have a 410 gear so that overdrive on that transmission is going to be nice so you can get out in the highway and enjoy this so that's pretty much uh, it for our 69 camaro outside inside and under the hood all right so we're underneath our 1969 camaro here so we're going to go through the underside as we always do um, calling out steering, suspension, um, the drive line underneath here, and of course the frame and the floors that we can all see here. So we'll start up at the front talking about the uh, front uh, frame and suspension. So your front frame here, your cross member up front, this is your stock cross member, 
so you can see how nice and straight that is so you can tell that that's never been banged on anything your front control arms for your suspension both your upper and lower control arms those are your factory stock stamp steel components there as far as the rest of the steering up here you've got your traditional steering it is power steering um, your you know just regular tie rods here the ball joints look to be in great shape rubber dust boot covers are all intact on all four of those and then of course same thing goes is true with your ball joints for your upper and lower control arms those are all have the rubber dust boot covers on those as well it does have a front sway bar on it the sway bar uh, the frame mounts the bushings on those are in great shape sway bar end link bushings are in great shape also and as far as brakes go it is power brakes disc up front drums on the back and nothing exotic just typical gm components you can go to any auto parts store and you can get your uh, brake pads and so forth for those um, now as far as the drive line let's go over that next you have your 350 cubic inch small block chevy engine here that is backed up by a 700 r4 automatic overdrive transmission so this thing's going to work good for you out just cruising around if you'd like or if you're out on the highway too um, as far as the transmission mount that is just your you know regular frame work here nice and straight and of course the tail shaft mount that's in great condition too the engine and the transmission around the pans, I can see no leaks whatsoever. Those are nice and dry the whole way around. Then, of course, we've got our drive shaft. It is balanced, so that's going to help eliminate any kind of vibrations you might have in the drive line. And then to finish off the drivetrain, we've got our, uh, it's a 10-bolt GM rear end. Uh, it is a 410 gear in here, and it's an 8.2-inch ring gear here, um, not a posi unit. It is a multi-leaf rear suspension, um, but looks as, you know, they haven't gone with the uh, traditional leaf springs here. So they do have this lower just a little wee bit to give it a real nice stance. You'll see that obviously in the A4 um, video here that we do when you see me walking around the car. Um, as far as the exhaust work, uh, ceramic coat long tube headers from Hedman Headers. Uh, then we have the dual exhaust, two and a half inch, all the way back you can see here they've added in these exhaust cutouts so if you ever wanted to um, open this up and have a little bit louder exhaust if you're going to be whatever taking it to uh, the strip or something just to try it out um, that's what you've got there you've got your cutouts you just unbolt those lets that exhaust flow right straight out through from the headers basically uh, so then as your two and a half inch exhaust goes back We've got the correct style tailpipes up over top of that rear end housing. Then you've got just your single transverse mounted muffler here with the dual tailpipes out the rear of the car. And again, it is all two and a half inch the whole way back, start to finish. Um, frame and floors, this, the front subframe here is in excellent shape, nice and straight, nothing crunched up in or anything like that. Your body bushings here, those are in good shape. They're not split out or over tightened. Uh, the rear frame seconds, sections, the, uh, the dog legs that go up over top of the rear end housing, those are in great shape too. And the floors, you can see the floors here on the video. All the stamped components, uh, nothing, there's no patching here at all. There's no holes in here. These floors are painted, they're not undercoated. So it shows the exact condition of them. All your drain plugs are in where they need to be. All of your fuel lines and brake lines are run nice and neat right along those pinch welds here, which are nice and straight the whole way back as well. It has that spiral winding around it to help prevent against any kind of kinking there in the lines. Um, you know, again, fuel lines all the way back. Those are in great shape too. And emergency brake it is all hooked up so we've got all the proper cables the frame hooks here uh, the dual intermediate cable here going back to your drum brakes as well that is the underside the only thing left then is the wheels and tires that give it the stance that you're looking for uh, now they have gone with 17 by 7s up front 18 by 8 inch wheels on the back they are the five spoke riddler wheels and then for tire sizes front and back They've got a 225-50 ZR17 up front, 
and a 255-45 ZR18 on the rear. Um, so that's pretty much it for our Camaro underneath. Again, you can see how nice this thing is underneath here. So clean underneath here, you probably could eat off of it if you could flip it upside down and do that. But again, nice, neat car here. 